So the following video is for my class Psych 491 at Liberty University Online with Professor Nathan Roberts. Um, it's my interview reflection video assignment um, due Monday, March 4th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Um, for this assignment, I was tasked with interviewing someone in the psychological um, or therapy field. Um, and for that, I chose Tina Michelle Kimry who is a psychiatric nurse at Elements Regional Medical Center in uh, North Carolina. She started her career getting an associate's at Elements Community College. She went from there to getting her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from UNCG or UNC Greensboro, again in North Carolina. From there, she went from a nurse tech at Elements Regional to a psychiatric nurse, um, which is attached to their ER at the same hospital. Um, so for this interview, I asked her to describe her job duties and they are as follows. She administered, um, psychiatric drugs, um, regular medicines, such as things like Tylenol, um, normal heart medications, diuretics, um, anything that covered other medical issues that weren't psychiatric as well. Um, noted reactions to those drugs, both the psych, uh, psychotropic and normal medical drugs, um, arrange further medical attention when necessary, assist client in understanding the nature of emotional disturbances and accepting the need for treatment, assist in maintaining a safe and secure environment for staff and patients. Um, she also worked hand in hand with security um, when it came to chemical and physical restraints as well. So when asked what she felt was most fulfilling about her job duties, it was helping people in crisis. Um, a lot of people that would come into like the ER, they are what was called IBC or involuntarily committed by law enforcement or other doctors, family. Um, people could voluntarily commit themselves as well if they were in a state of crisis. So feeling suicidal or homicidal or just overwhelmed and knowing they needed help, they could come into the ER and go to the psych unit. Um, from there, just taking care of these patients, it seemed to be therapeutic to her. Um, she felt like she could make a difference with these people, get them the help that they needed to live long lasting lives. Um, she was very meticulous on not only treating the patient um, or noting things that could have further treatment for these patients um, psychologically, but also medically. Um, she mentioned things like how she would note reactions for anxiety. Sometimes people would just have uh, heart issues and it would induce the anxiety. Um, and there were several patients where she spoke to their care or their primary care doctors and got them on heart medications, which fixed the anxiety. So there wasn't a need for further psychological treatment because it was treated um, medically. Um, describe it. I also asked her to describe, um, the most challenging things about working in the psychiatric nurse industry. And that was the people that she couldn't help. Um, those truly disturbed ones that she knew that they're going to be on lifelong medications or therapies that they would not necessarily get better. Um, those would be those with like schizophrenia or, um, other, uh, people experiencing hallucinations, um, those that just really felt suicidal, homicidal, and they were, they, they kept coming back to the ER. They kept coming back to her unit because they were not getting better. And it bothered her that she could not fix it more or less. Um, though she was just a nurse, she was taking care of them. She was doing everything that she could they just kept coming back and they kept coming back not because they weren't necessarily getting better um but because that's just part of the condition that they had they would not get better if that makes sense um from what she was explaining to me um and she couldn't tell me these individuals um specific disorders as well so i'm i'm not sure 
what these individuals had to be able to tell you in this, um, in the relay of this interview. So next question was, um, what did she do to continue her growth in the field? Um, like I mentioned, she went from an associate's in nursing that she got from Alamance Community College to a bachelor's um, from UNC Greensboro. Um, so that allowed her a wider scope of practice um, and a higher, I guess, level of treatment within psychiatric nursing and within the um, hospital itself. Um, as a nurse within associates, she didn't work in psychiatric nursing until she got that bachelor's. Um, so the increase in the degree allowed her to further herself. Um, there was also several um, continuing education courses that she was able to take. There's this thing called CIT um, in law enforcement. I know I took that. Um, there's a nursing version of that, uh, crisis intervention training, that prepared her for psychiatric nursing. And then there are very various other courses that nurses can take as well um, to, and that they have to take to, um, I guess, keep their nursing license throughout the year. Um, you have to have a certain number of credits um, or hours to re-up the certifications or the licensures that you have. Um, and so she used that to outsource classes that would help her in psychiatric nursing. Um, my last question was if she had any recommendations for any students that were pursuing a career in psychiatric nursing specifically or nursing in general. I think that uh, her responses are a great reply to both. Um, and she said to find a good mentor um, because the mentors can either make you or break you. Um, if you have a mentor that truly loves what they do, can tell you the ins and outs, little tips and tricks, it will definitely make a difference. And also to listen to the patient because there are some conditions where the psychiatric side and the medical side sort of merge and there's a gray area there. And sometimes if you treat the medical side, it can affect or help the psychiatric side and vice versa. And you need to know want to differentiate between those and a great mentor not only will help that um, but also looking for outside resources as well outside classes um, so you can understand the side effects of different medications um, side effects of different treatments and how they can affect physiologically and just the different overlaps um, but because sometimes that can get really confusing um, also need to understand chemical and physical restraints. Um, so don't just take what they're teaching you in nursing school because nursing school, um, there, it's a lot of book work and you do have clinicals, but it's very different in the actual rooms in the workplace, um, especially with chemical and physical restraints, how to apply them, what actually works. And especially with different clientele, because you can have someone, not clientele, but the patients, um, cause you can have someone that comes in that, you know, they're trained in whatever kind of martial arts Well, some physical restraints go out the window, um, the ethical physical restraints and you have to go to chemical, um, and just different ways to go about that safely, um, safe for the nurses, safe for the doctor's security and safe for the patients, um, because, we don't want anybody getting hurt in these situations. And that is the end of uh, this review of my interview. Thank you.